please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children we learned addition two digit three digit and four digit now let us do some addition problems right so we are going to do word problems in addition word problems in addition I'll give you two problems. First, I'll write down, you read and think, what is the statement that we'll be writing? Think about it. So, I'll write, first I'll write down the problem for you. The first one we are going to do is, a van was carrying three, 234 ice creams. A van. A van was carrying three two hundred and thirty four ice creams. Two hundred and thirty four ice creams. Okay, 450 more ice creams were added. How many may are added? 450 more. 452 more ice creams were added. All right. Now, how many ice creams are there in all? The question is, how many? You're supposed to find out how many ice creams how many ice creams are there in all? Are there in all. That is your question. And the second sum we are going to do is a truck carrying a truck carrying three thousand four hundred and 3,456 sacks of rice. Okay. Then, on the way, on the way, picked up on the way it picked up another another two thousand three hundred and fifty four sets okay the question is how many sets how many, how many sets?
how many sacks are there in all? Okay, a truck carrying three thousand four hundred and fifty-six sacks of rice. On the way, it picked up another two thousand three hundred and fifty-four sacks. How many sacks are there in all? So now we have two word problems to work on. All right. Two word problems. What is that? First of all, what is the statement that we will write? Look at the first one. A van was carrying two hundred and thirty-four ice creams. So, what will be the first statement? The statement will be number of ice creams. Number of ice creams in the van. Next. Number of ice creams added. Finally, how many ice creams are there in all? So, total number of ice creams in all. That's all. Okay. So now let's write the statement. Number of ice creams in the van. That's the first statement. What is the first statement? Number of ice creams. Number of ice creams in the van. Okay, now we have a margin. Then, what is the number of ice creams? Okay, number of ice cream is three two hundred and thirty-four. Two hundred and thirty-four. And what will we write on the top? Ones, so that we do not make mistake. Tens and hundreds. Okay. What is the next statement? Number of ice creams added. Number of ice creams added what is the number of ice creams added 452 452 what is the last statement how many ice creams are there in all so total number of ice creams in the van so third statement is therefore The total number, the total number of ice creams in the van. How will we get the answer? Two hundred and thirty-four plus four hundred and fifty-two. How will we get two hundred and Thirty-four plus four hundred and fifty-two. We have to write that down, hmm? and that will give you the answer. Now we add on this, and we put a plus sign here for us to know we are adding. All right. Now, first we add up the ones. So, number of ice creams in the van. Two hundred and thirty-four. Number of ice creams added four hundred and fifty-two. First, we'll add all the ones. We have four in the one place and two in the one place. Four plus two, we get six ones. In the tenth place, we have three and five. Five plus three, good. Eight in the tenth place. Then we have in the hundred place two and four. Two and four, six. So, the total number of ice creams in the van, two hundred and thirty-four plus four hundred and fifty-two is six hundred and eighty-six. So, what's your answer? Answer is your answer is equal to six hundred and eighty-six ice creams.
That's your answer. So shall we look at the next one? A truck carrying 3,456 sacks of rice on the way it picked up. Another 2,354 sacks. How many sacks are there in all? What will be the first statement? Number of sacks in the truck or number of sacks of rice in the truck. So the first statement. Second statement, number of sacks of rice picked up. And finally, how many sacks are there in all? Finally, total number of sacks in the truck. Alright? So, first one will be number of sacks of rice in the truck. The first one is number of sacks of rice. Number of sacks of rice in the truck. That's the first statement. Alright? And what is the second statement? Number of sacks of rice picked up. Number of sacks of rice picked up. Okay? So we have two statements and the final statement says how many sacks are there in all? Total number of sacks in the truck. Therefore, the third statement is total number of sacks of rice in the truck. Okay, now, now we need to draw the column, once tens, hundred thousand, the place has to be written, that's the only way we can make sure that our work, our addition is correct. So first we'll write ones in the ones place, then we write tens, then we write hundreds. And finally, thousand, and then you place all the numbers correctly. Okay? Now, here goes the margin. Okay? So, first, number of sacks of rice in the truck is 3,456. 3,450. Okay, next, number of sacks of rice picked up is 2,354, 2,354. Now, we are going to add both these. So, you put the addition sign. Okay, you put the addition sign. Now, when we add, we add the ones place first, then we go to the tens, then hundred and thousand. In the ones place, we have six plus four. What is six plus four? Six plus four is ten, and we cannot write ten in the ones place. So, you put zero, and the one is carried over to the tens place. Now we add the tens. We have 5 plus 5 and 1. 10 plus 1, you have 11. So what will you do? 11 is 1 10 plus 1 carried over to the 100 place. 11 is 1 10 and the next 1 is carried over to the 100 place. So you have 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 3. 8. Finally, we have 3 plus 2, 3000 plus 2000. 3 plus 2, 5. So that's your answer. 
the total number of sacks of rice in the truck is 5810 so that is 3,3456 plus 2,3,5,4. You have to write this. Oh, then only you will know. Oh, you added up these two. And your answer comes to. What's your answer? Your answer is. Your answer equal to 5,810. 10 bags of rice or sacks of rice. Sacks of rice. That's your answer. Now, what did we do? Number of sacks of rice in the truck says 3456. Number of sacks of rice picked up. Okay, picked up on the way is 2354. Therefore, total number of sacks of rice in the truck is 3456 plus 2354. That is 6 plus 4 is 10. 0 in the 1's place. 1 carried over to the 10th place. 5 plus 1, 6 plus 5, 11. That is 1 in the 10th place. 1 carried over to the 100th place. 4 plus 1, 5 plus 3, 8. Then 3,000 plus 2,000, 5,000. So your answer is number of sacks of rice is 5,810. What we learned today is word problems in addition. One straight, one carried over.